sleep is another thing. Well, how do you feel about dreams? What do you feel like dreams are? Yeah. I'm so over what people's interpretations are. You know, Carl Jung, one guy that I've kind of listened to, he says that dreams are a snapshot of your future. I'm like, I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> what I do do sometimes is maybe if I see like a symbol, I'll like look it up, maybe get some interpretation. For example, I saw a snake in my dream. It was just a snake. It was slithering. It looked pretty big. Just a snake. Mm-hmm. I looked it up and you can type in like snake totem and what the snake means. Inf- inf- infinity, the death of something, the restarting of new. A lot of, mm-hmm. wow. but it's just like, what the fuck does that mean? Yeah. What is my Snapchat in the future of that? So. <laughs> <laughs> I used to dream all the time. Wow. Now I don't, I know that I'm dreaming, but it's not, it's nothing like it was before. Mm. I started taking medications. Wow. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like back, like. Maybe a couple of years back, mm-hmm. and I think they might have fucked with my dreams. Okay, are you on them now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And you're not dreaming. I am dreaming, mm-hmm. but I just don't remember. Like I dreamed last night, right? But that was because I was out late and I was—I don't know—I had I had some weird energy. So are you saying this is like a <laughs> lucid dream? No, I just remember that. You know what it probably is? I always used to dream when I napped. Mm, yes and me i too. take less naps now so yes. maybe i'm still maybe my dreams are the same i see but i, I, see. I mean pretty much a guarantee if i wake up and go back to sleep i'm dreaming indeed yeah. well yeah um but also if you're talking about any kind of mation from the pharmaceutical inju- industry and knowing the pharmaceutical injury they're not for the people or their environment and maybe yeah. doing some kind of blockage to some kind of neurotransmitter that produces dreaming they but, block the dream part of my mind. oh man it's, no i it's, just dream i just had a dream last yeah night. yeah <laughs> um people say smoking weed prevents dreaming and i'm just like, not yeah, for me not, yeah yeah, yeah. It, i hated dreaming when mm-hmm. I was high. Mm. that was really scary mm, just too vivid too too vivid too much oh, I, yes. I just wanted to be awake yeah i just woke back up yeah. so i just waited out <laughs> oh man so do you do you I feel like at certain times you have those dreams that it wouldn't, it's nice to believe that your dream is real. Cause for example, Maybe. cause for example, um, um, I make music. Mm-hmm. Uh, I want to be an EDM producer slash DJ on like a relatively big scale. I'm not mm-hmm. trying to be Diplo, blah, 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 you know? Um, and I would have dreams of like being in a studio or, um, visions of like performing. Yeah. I'll see my name on like a flyer, just, you know, these little yeah. subconscious things. Mm-hmm. And do you feel like dreams have any connection with like the outside, the waking world, the waking quote unquote waking world? And yeah. I would like to believe like, yes, it's going to happen. This is all me, bitch. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you know? Cause it's just like, yeah. So how do you feel about that? Like, do you feel like yeah. it has a connection between the waking world? Any kind of connection? Yes. Yeah. I think the connection is that whatever's in your dream was in your head. Mm. And the things that were in your head in the waking world somehow creeped into your dream. Mm, mm-hmm. yeah. So maybe like a subconscious thing, but it, it involves your real life. Right. On some level. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. 